Hey, it's so good to have you along on WKYT. It's a picnic-style fundraiser with delicious food and some great music, too. And it helps provide harvest for the hungry. Glean, Kentucky, hosting burgers and beets this coming weekend. We're joined now by Stephanie Wooten, Executive Director of Glean, Kentucky, along with Todd Johnson, Gleaning Coordinator. Thanks for coming in today. Glad Thanks to for have having you. us. Appreciate Thank it. You. First off, what is Glean, Kentucky? We are an organization that was founded in 2010. We glean or gather excess produce, fresh fruits and veggies, and then we redistribute it to over 50 different feeding programs. We glean from grocery stores, farmers markets, farms, um, and we've saved almost 700,000 pounds of food since our inception in 2010. So That's an amazing yes. amount. That really is. Okay, burgers and beets. Yes. What is it? How does it help? Well, it's it's our primary fundraiser, so it adds a lot to our mission, allows us to do the work that Ta was mentioning, and it's exactly what it sounds like, burgers and beets. We will have burgers prepared by Chef Wita Michael. It's out at Wallace Station, one of her restaurants, so it's sure to be delicious food. You know it will be delicious. <laughs> you are guaranteed a good burger. Um, and then we'll also have beets. We have a, a five-piece jazz band, Quintessence, will be with us. Um, so it's a picnic style, bring your picnic chairs, blanket, uh, hope, we'll hope for good weather. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. Right, and a lot of folks are having a great time that day, but keeping in mind the purpose behind all of this, and, and really, uh, there, seem to be, uh, there seems to be a lot more interest these days in, in trying to do the right thing when it regards uh, food and locally grown food. I think so, yeah, and I think food waste is becoming um, a lot more of a, 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 a popular topic. People are learning more about what food waste, how food waste impacts uh, their community and that's really what we're all about. We want to provide people with access to some of those really great fresh fruits and vegetables that we all enjoy from the farmers markets and grocery stores um, and at the same time prevent those foods from being wasted. Of course people can come to Burgers and Beets but what are some other ways people can get involved? We always need volunteers. You're looking at 100% uh, of our staff right here, Stephanie and I. <laughs> so we're really volunteer based and people can actually come to volunteer orientation the fourth Thursday of uh, the month and we'll teach them all they need to know about gleaning and then put them out there and uh, have them go to grocery stores, farms, um, and glean produce for us. Um, so that's one way they can get involved. Um, they can always get involved by uh, being uh, word of mouth ambassadors for us and get out the word about what we're doing and, and uh, how important it is to provide access to the underserved and food insecure population of Central Kentucky. Oh, very good uh, mission for sure. And here it is coming up with that big Burgers and Beets event on Sunday. It'll be from uh, 5 until 8 in the evening at Wallace Station. And our own Sean Moody will be out there and kind of kick things in gear, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes, we're keeping them the family. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. More incentive to come. Yeah, well, you're, 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 what, he's married to your cousin? Is that? Yes, yeah, okay. yes, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> we understand that. Thank All you right. very much for coming in. Thank, Thank you, you for having me.